you know, this video, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I have a confession to make. And this video is for my Dalton residents in Dalton, Illinois. And the madness that they're dealing with, with uh, their super mayor, uh, Tiffany Hinyard, who is a complete psychopath, um, narcissistic um, person. And, you know, I have a confession to make. A lot of people are just following her because she's a politician and they think that she got all the answers and she's throwing them out a few crumbs here and there. And, you know, they really think it's in their best interest to follow her. Well, let me tell y'all a little personal story, okay? And... I don't care. I know the person is listening, and I really could care less. Uh, you Come talk to me. Come see me. Because what I'm saying is not a lie. I'm telling the honest to God's truth. And I, I triple dare you to um, call out whatever I said as untruth. And that is um, one time, and I you know, speak about it a lot, the time that I worked a campaign. And um, end up in jail. Uh, ended up in jail because, and I'm not saying this guy had all the attributes of um, a Tiffany Henyard, but it was pretty close. And the reason why I say that is because when he first showed me that he didn't have good character, I should have left him alone. Okay? But for whatever reason, I didn't. And uh, the news people uh, was beating a, a black man down, and I thought it was my responsibility to help the brother, since I had known him all my life, and his 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 uncles and people. Uh, I felt it was you know m my duty to help him, right? So I w I'm just saying this to the people of, of Dalton, residents of Dalton. I want y'all to hear me good because this is hard. Um, for a lot of it's hard uh, for a lot of people to admit when they go too far and they made a mistake. Not me. I had to learn that humbleness and um, you know is 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 a good character. The Bible said, "Blessed are the pure in heart, right? For they shall see God." So, um. Mike had me in, up in some stuff where I got arrested because he paid people five dollars to vote. I knew that was against the law. I knew it was nothing that he gave me. But when the FBI and all of those uh, detectives start converging on the place, um, I realized that one of my boys had an envelope full of money that he'd gotten from Mike. So apparently Mike was paying people or he was he didn't pay him, he allowed the other guy to pay him. Right? FBI came in there and they ran us down, took our names, whatever, and uh, or found out who we were. I had no idea that we were any and under any threat at that point. But I knew in my spirit See, God will protect you. And some in my spirit say, told me to say to the off to the uh, detective, um, it's against the law to pay the vote. And he remembered that. Fortunately, he was a brother. He said, he he, he said, what'd you say? I said, well, you know, it's against the law to buy votes. He said, uh, 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 well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went on and he went out. Well. I got arrested for just that, following behind somebody who I didn't know all the stuff that he had his hands in, all the mischief that he was doing. And let me say something to y'all. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Ain't nobody lying on her, uh, Tiffany, and saying she's doing all these things and she's just a sweet mayor. She's a crook. She stole y'all money. Your town probably ain't going to recuperate, and it's going to be like Harvey 
and all the rest of the uh, villages and suburbs of Illinois because of theft and corruption. And everybody knows that Chicago is the, the birthplace for politics and corruption. Okay? So with that being said, I want all y'all residents that are following Tiffany Blind that haven't woke up yet, don't be like me. Don't end up in jail with somebody for some shit you didn't even do. Fortunately for me, my father protected me. And I called on the name of God all the time to the point where people said, you big old, you always talking. No, it's in me. It's in me. I don't care what you hear me say. It's in me. And my first nature is to call out and cry out. And that's what I did. I ended up getting out of the situation. I didn't, because they were trying to give me five years as well. Um, but I was out of the situation. My boy G, he got locked up. My alderman, who I was out there campaigning for, night and day, walking the pavement, never thinking that he was out here strong-arming people, doing the same shit Tiffany Henyer was doing in some cases. He got seven to ten years. Now, my point is, this Negro, when he got out, he never apologized to me. He never said, I'm like, I'm sorry for putting you up in that. You know, he just said, good looking out. <laughs> Ain't that a trip? And that's how uh, Tiffany Henyer feel about the rest of y'all. She don't give a damn about y'all. She just want warm bodies like a vampire that she can suck off of. People like that, that's what they do. Okay, because they're parasites. And they use other people. They're narcissistic to get their job done. And Mike never apologized to me. Never said, look, I should have put you in that position. You a parent just like me. And uh, I appreciate your help. I ain't got that conversation yet. And I think we've been out of jail at least over 10 years now. So I'm just giving y'all in residents in Dalton fair warning. Get the hell away from Tiffany. And if you can't get the hell away from her, just back off until you get all the facts. Because I guarantee you, it ain't what you think. That girl done done some stuff. And now it's her time to pay the piper. And you do yourself well and be fit to get away and stay away. And let what the government has for her, let them have it for her. Don't have your ass up in there too so they can put you in it. And that's a word from the wise. Okay? Ain't nothing like going to jail. I couldn't believe that interrogation room. It was all filthy and everything. You want me to put my hands on the table and sit down on a chair that looked like somebody had just... Uh, nutted all on uh, and, and and did just all types of stuff on the chair. Just the kind of this the and then the table was filthy and I asked myself, can I just wipe the table off? And you know those guys was laughing at me. No, I don't want to go to jail. It ain't for me. And any of y'all that's out at the Dalton resident, and if y'all don't think it's for you, back out from supporting Tiffany right down right now and let justice and let all that run its course because the attorney she got, he a crook too. All all that little circle. Key Freeman. As you can see, he turned state now. Cause he fired. You don't see him no more. Cause he's singing like a canary. Nobody gonna go to jail for her. They done stole big money, so I hope she done put some away. But they allowed her to do that, like I said. They allowed her to do that. And residents, y'all allowing her too, as long as y'all stay ignorant. Okay? I want to know what y'all say about that family. Because I know y'all heard about the Dalton situation, eh? unless you under a rock. Um, and if you are, well, it's okay. Check, check out what's happening in Dalton. And it's enough to blow your damn mind with, cor uh, with the corruption that this city girl, Shanene ass, is doing to the town of Dalton. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video.